This is a requested look from a girl who is wearing a lavender dress to prom and she wanted to know what I would do if I was wearing that and how would I match it makeup wise. Um, a big portion of this I accidentally didn't record so bear with me. I used softball girl as my primer obviously and then I used these two colors to use as my transition color. I also used a little bit of bronzer which I didn't film on here but it's no big deal. I would either use like soft brown, texture, um, any kind of bronzer, the e.l.f. bronzer, so whatever works. So I'm just using these two colors and I'm blending it on the outer crease and a little bit on the inside as well. Then I'm using a black eyeshadow and I used it from the Wet n Wild uh, eyeshadow palette and then I'm buffing it out with a fluffy blending brush. Because some of the color kind of wipes away, I packed on some more of that black eyeshadow and then just buffed out the very, very edge of that eyeshadow. Then with the wet wipe, I wiped out a lot of the excess that kind of fell underneath. I'm also wiping off some of my leftover um, concealer that I have from the day and some of my foundation is wiping off so for the sake of the the tutorial it's not, it doesn't really matter and then I'm using that same um, purple and I mixed it a little bit with the black and I'm brushing it with a very teeny teeny eyeshadow brush and I'm buffing it on the lower lash line purple eyeliner pencil and I'm putting that on my waterline I didn't want to use black because it was a little too dark but this one just adds a perfect balance with the smoky look. Now I'm using these really fluffy eyelashes. The good thing about a smoky eye is that you can get away with a fuller, thicker, more dramatic lash because um, it really does open up the eye anyways. If you were doing more like an eyeliner or something like that, the eyelashes might be a little too dramatic, but that's why I really like a smoky eye. And um, this is how I put them on. I put a little glue, maneuver them through, boop de doo It's all done. Pretty popular one. I'll write the name of everything I use in the description box, but sometimes it's really hard to just say it through this video, so I'm not going to do it. But um, I forget the color, but I'll put it down there. And it's really light, but it does blend into the skin the longer that you wear it. So during this video, it's going to look super light, especially my chin. See, now I'm bringing attention to my chin, but who cares? But I want you to kind of see at the very end of the video how it does kind of melt into the skin and then it starts to blend in with your skin color. Um, so this does vary for skin types and, or I'm sorry, skin tones, but you can get away with it if you are darker like me, like an NC42 or so. You can always darken it too with some bronzer or powder if you wanted to darken it up a little bit. And now I'm using my NARS bronzer in Casino. This one, for me, it looks way better than uh, Laguna. Laguna doesn't show up on me. It looks like a blush on me or something. But I'm darkening up my face and putting a little contour. When you're using a, doing a smoky eye, Sometimes it tends to wash your face out a little bit, so you definitely want to warm up the face with some bronzer. And I almost forgot to use my, or to do my eyebrows. This is how I do them. I take the lighter color at the very, very base in the front, and then I tend to use the darker color on the tail of the eyebrow. My eyebrows are very dark, the hairs are very dark, so I can get away with that darker color um, at any point, really, the front or the tail end of the eyebrow. And I just like to do this with the smoky eye so that it really does kind of shape my eyebrows and make something about it look a little bit more structured and more intense. I like a bold brow, but my brows are, are kind of already bold anyways, they're just a little sparse in some areas. I use this old limited edition kind of skin finish. Um, you can use like Warm Soul or something like that from MAC, but I'm using this as my blush. I wanted something a little bit pinkier, but not like bubblegum pink, so this was a good warm alternative to it. And I always put blush on my nose, if you don't notice. Uh, then I used Cream Cup, which is a lipstick my mama gave me. Um, she, I 
think, I don't even think she, she used like half of it. I don't know why she gave it to me, but she does that. She like gets old and doesn't like to use a certain lipstick and then she'll give it to me and then she'll want something brand new. Then I put this um, elixir on top just to kind of make it a little bit more pinky, um, a little darker for my skin tone because the cream cup does look a little funky on me. It borderlines snob for me and I don't like it particularly, but I like to mix it. So I used this lip combo and I really liked it, but then I opted to change it. So this is another alternative if you don't like this lip. I use this Revlon crayon kind of stain and these are really great, especially if you're going to prom. It's really great to have this one lip thing to use. It's going to last all night and it has a really pretty shine, but it doesn't smudge away too much and it doesn't kind of bleed into the lip lines or anything like that. So this is a really good alternative. Last minute, I decided to add a little bit more of the lavender kind of tone to it. This is what I wanted to do and what I would do really if I was doing prom all over again. I would love to do prom all over again. My first prom was a freaking nightmare. My The flashback was insane. I didn't get, I got my makeup done by somebody. And then the second year, I just did it myself. I used very little foundation. I think that was the first time I used Studio Fix Fluid and um, I looked amazing. But not as dramatic as what I know now. So I wish I could go back in time so bad, so bad, so bad. But anyways, I'm putting this color on the inner and the lower lash line just to add a little bit more color. So this is my final look. I hope that you liked it. To the um, prom girl who is going to prom, I hope this is exactly what you were asking for and hopefully you have an amazing prom. I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I love ya.